Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-admission.com So guys, today in this video, we'll talk about how you can fix this exception which is known as invalid selector exception. I'm sure if you are a beginner or even if you're an experienced guy, you must have seen this exception multiple times. But today I will show you what is the root cause of this exception and how we can fix it. So exception is invalid selector exception as the name says, the selector that you are trying to provide is invalid. So let me try to first of all regenerate the same scenario and then I will show you how you can fix it. So I already have one package here called Selenium Sessions. I will create a dedicated class and let me just type Selenium Demo. I will take public static void main, you can go with testing GJ unit, doesn't matter because our main motive is to handle this exception. So let me start this session first. Uh, so I will be using WebDriver Manager. So I don't have to provide the driver path. Then I will be using web driver, driver equal to new Chrome driver. Doesn't matter which browser you're using, this exception will remain same. Now let me open any application. So for this particular video, I will be using this Orange HRM. I will just pass here. And now let me do some activity. Suppose I want to enter something on this username field. So now let me take, uh, let me write one XPath for this. So what is the XPath I can write here? So I can use this text name, I can use which is name, ID, I can use type. So let me take this name and let me write one small XPath. I will write find an input tag which has name equal to txt username. So this is a valid XPath, okay? So the moment I write driver.find element by XPath and if I provide this XPath and if I just type send keys admin, it should work right because now if you see it's matching here one node but suppose due to some mistake you added one extra bracket here okay or maybe parenthesis or anything related to this in you know xpath is not valid i'm not talking about no such element exception that is a different exception this is invalid selectors so right now i have given the wrong xpath here okay which is basically a syntax issue this time when I try to run this and if you run as Java application, it will open your browser but the moment it will try to find this, it will not throw no such element exception but it will throw you invalid selector exception. So if I go back here, just double click on the console and you can see invalid selector exception. Make sense? So what I will do, I will just remove this additional uh, bracket here which we added forcefully just to show you this exception. Now this XPath is valid. So the moment you run this, you will get a proper, I will say output. It will go to that particular field and it will enter admin. Okay. So just let's wait and you can see it has entered. There's so a very quick issue. So whenever you get this invalid selector exception, it means the selector that you have passed is invalid. Now let me show you another interesting point. This time I'm making name txt username to txt username 1. In this case, xpath is valid, but the attribute value which I have passed, it's not correct. In this case, let's see what exception we will be getting. This time you will see a different exception altogether. So let's wait for the browser. Let me maximize manually. And you can see it's not typing because it's expected, but this time you will see a different exception. It's called no such element exception. So I hope you got the point. Do not get confused with these two exceptions. Invalid selector exception whenever the syntax is incorrect and no such element exception like everything is correct, your syntax is correct but the value that you have passed is incorrect. In that case it will say no such element exception. Okay. So again you can fix it and your program should work as expected. So that's a very quick video how to handle this exception and in case if you're getting the same question in interviews now you will have a clear answer. Okay, that's all for this video. So in case if you're new to this channel, then please make sure you subscribe this channel, share this video with your friends, colleagues who are working on Selenium. If you have any other question, let me know in the comment section and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.